Payback season, we don't need a reason We had your back from day, now you're talking treason Your life is looking decent, you're moving with the scars You think the world is yours, but nah, the streets are ours It's payback season, we don't need a reason We had your back from day, now you're talking treason Your life is looking decent this is James Holder for iFilm London. I'm at the live for the Payback premiere. With me, I've got British actor Adam Deacon and Richie Campbell. How are you doing, guys? Mm, I'm good. All nice, nice. Do you know what? I want to firstly congratulate you on behalf of iFilm no, for your BAFTA win, you know? Thank you, man. And thank you to everyone out there that voted. And thank you guys for supporting from early. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, there's a lot of love out there, and it was nice to kind of prove to the industry that, you know what, there is support out there. There's a lot of people out there that are supporting, and it's all about new, the new generation right now. Do you get what I'm saying? The new generation are coming through. How proud was you for him, Rich, to win this BAFTA, mate? Not really. <laughs> no, I'm <joking. laughs> I'm messing with messing, like, literally. <laughs> like, they got, they got messages before anyway, innit? I messaged you before, like, yeah. before it even happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I messaged Michael Vu as well before it happened. So I was, just, I was happy. I was very proud of him, man. This is like, um, you're like, People, some people aren't aware. Like we've been like thinking about this from young and young. You know I mean, it's, it's a lot of us have been doing this on, a, on, a, on a set of wilderness. Um, can I just, you put it right in your face, innit? You proper <laughs> like, do like it's like there, bro. But no, no. Basically, we spoke Blah. about this. I told you how Tyrone came about. Actually, it was like one of these things where we done a film way back called Wilderness, and we were on set, and obviously there's a lot of waiting about. He was telling me about a story of some guy that came into a club. He had a bit of a lisp. And the way he wanted to beat me up. He wanted to beat me up. Yeah, apparently I was messing with his girl. I don't do things like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Richie was there and literally went on set and he started doing the lisp and he started telling us the story of this guy that came in the club. What, and actually doing the story with the lisp? Yeah, yeah with the lisp. You know, he's a big actor out here. So he literally had the whole crew. He had the whole crew busting up. I was busting up. And I said to him, just going to put it down a tiny bit. Sorry, brother. Um, <laughs> basically, can I hold it? Is that a man? Can I hold it? Basically, yeah. Listen, you crack on. Cheers, brother. So we were there. We were there, and um, you know, I said to him, "Bro, please save me that accent for the day that we do our film, because one day it will happen." And about six years later, it happened, and six years later, it must have been here. Yeah. And then uh, the killer is, I got the call. Oh, thank no, you, thank you. So I got the call, and like, <laughs> so Adam, Adam called up, "Bro, what are you working at the moment?" I said, oh, "I might be, and I'm doing some theatre." He's like, "Oh, because remember I told you about the thing. It's going to happen." Honestly, to God, I didn't believe, I didn't believe him at all. I was like, "All right, mate." Cool, whatever, see what happens, and then now we're well, here. I've got to say, <laughs> when he told me, he told me that it might clash, he might yeah. not actually be able to do the film. Yeah. Brother, I told the role we might not yeah. ha we might not be able to make the film because there's no one out there that could have played Tyrone like Richie Campbell. So you would have you would have put back filming and just gone back. Of course, back. I would have. No, we would have we would have put it back. Um, my thing is that he's an actor, it, we, we call him, you know, in the actor circle. Right, you can ask Michael Marison and all that. We call him the actor's actor. That's his nickname. Richie Campbell, actor's actor. Big. You, Comedy and drama. Do you know how much of a big of a compliment that actually is right now? You know? This is the man of the moment, do you know what I mean? He's the next man of the moment, bruv. Rising star, 2013, BAFTA. But, nah, I don't, I, hey. I, don't, I don't even, it's not even that. Let me not gas, innit? Let me not gas. <laughs> but you I'm read my gonna mind. Gas. I'm gonna gas. Rising star, 2013, 2014. Hook it up, BAFTA, man. Come on. Listen, I want to talk to you. <laughs> Look it up, man. They're my people, innit? They're my people now that I'm playing. Listen, we're here. We've got to talk about this film payback season, you know? Just just tell me a little bit. What was it like playing play, play a professional oh, footballer oh, on telly? Me, you know, writer and director. I think people think it's my film. It's not actually my film. I'm just an actor in it. Um, it was good. You know, as you said, it was the first part that I was playing someone that doesn't say the word blood every two minutes or the word fam and just a nice calm character. So it was nice as an actor to play that, yeah. This, this ain't you going away from this whole urban scene. This is a movement out here. Surely we're going to see some more of these characters. I'm being called over. I'm being called over. I've got to run, but it is a movement. Right. And there's a lot of young actors with with no ego that are ready to kind of do this in the right way. And there's a lot of talent out there. Big up David Ajala as well. Yeah. Massive and a share talent. You know, it's about the real talent coming through right now. I've got to run. Three words, payback season. Give me three words about the film. It's a decent film. <laughs> it's That's four. Decent. I was going to do syllables. <laughs> it's a decent film. That's five syllables. I'm not sure about that. You know what? It's a decent film. Yeah. You know what? With the amount of media that are actually here today, it is harder to get older than anyone in this whole place. That the media was unreal. It was unreal. So to get even get him talking to us for a, a couple of minutes yeah. of his time, even if he was gassing about Richie a bit, but <laughs> he's had a couple of drinks. Do you know what I mean? I think he's had a couple of drinks. But to be fair, Adam's hard to get hold of anyway. Like he call his phone. Ah! Don't answer. So, nah, it's all love. Like at the end of the day, like we're saying, it's just a, it's a nice vibe. Everyone's here supporting everyone. Like, you know, I've worked with a lot of the actors in the film, so it's nice to just be here and say, good job, well done. 
Do you know what I mean? Like we don't, uh, as much as like, you know, we do celebrate. We don't actually just say well done just for doing it. Like the guy, do you know what I mean? It's the first film. He just went out and did it. It's not, it's not an easy thing. The love levels are high today. I'm telling you. A little bit. I don't know why. A little bit. I should leave now. Shouldn't it's a bit I? Bit euphoric. I'm, I'm getting worried. <laughs> I quite like you actually. It's a side part, isn't it? It's the Jeff Hurst going on, you know what I mean? First, nah, nah, it's all, it's all fun and games, when, man. When are we going to do a little mini-series or something with you? When can we follow you about and terrorise you for a couple of days? Give us an answer, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just, it's a bit, it's a bit manic, but we've always got time. We've always got time for iFilm London, man. Always got time. So, yeah, whenever. Set myself up for a huge part then, and he kind of let me off the hook a little bit, but... <laughs> nah, I'd never do that, man. Not that bad. Not that bad. Well, Rich, you know what? I'm a big fan of your work. I love you. I loved you, Snowy. A great character to play. I, I happened to see you on set doing your thing. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, on behalf of I From London, thank you for, for your time, and thank you to Adam Deacon as well, and keep up the good work, mate. Do you know what I mean? Thank you very much, sir. Really appreciate it. Nice one. James Holder, Richie Campbell, and Adam Deacon, minus Adam Deacon, for I From London. Thank you. <laughs> Now man, them I grew up with Wanna take what I got like we ain't got nothing Bedroom, you're at the top Broke bed with a man, them you got a lot So don't be greedy